Yasas Mathites. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to see if we can use English to help us learn Greek, or we're going to use Greek to help us learn English. And what I want to do is show you just how much of an impact Greek has had on other languages, uh, especially English, especially in the sciences. So we're going to just do all of this in this video using one word as our base. And we're going to use the word scope and let's take a look at that. So the word scope comes from the Greek word skopevo, which means I look. It could also be I target, I aim, I aim at something. We have the word oskopos in Greek, which is the aim. And again, you can see in blue, in the Greek uh, letters in blue, you can see skop. So you can see these blue letters, the sigma, the kappa, and the pi, and this is where we get the word skeptical. Because when you're skeptical, you, you feel like you need to look at something again. You're not ready to accept it. And yes, some, uh, some people spell it with a C, skeptical. And if we move the C and the P around, if we flip them, we get the Latin spec like spectator and spectacular, something that's spectacular is something that you need to see. Spectacles are glasses, something that helps us see. And of course, the spectrum is uh, the visible light. So all of these scops and specs have to do with vision and seeing. So let's look at some words here that we get based on the Greek word skopos, microscope. Micro means small, and a scope is a device that is used for seeing. And in Greek, we have the microscopio, the thing that helps us see small things. word telescope. Well, tele means from far away. And again, we have our scope. So a telescopio is a thing that helps us see from far away. A stethoscope. So a stethos is a chest. So a stethoscopio is a device that helps us see the chest. An otoscope, well, oto is the Greek word for ear, the old word for ear. So an otoscopio is a device that we've all seen before at the doctor's office, something that a doctor uses to look into the ear. Endoscope. Endo means inside. So an endoscopio, an endoscope, is something that helps us see inside the body, deep inside the body. Horoscope. Well, horo means hour or time. In Greek, we know the word ora. So an horoscopio. And this is related to the horoscope, which is uh, 
easily predicted based on our calendar and the ecliptic and the constellations and things like that. Periscope. Well, peri, peri means around, like a perimeter. So we have a periscopio, something that helps us look around. Okay, we don't have, to, if we're underwater, we don't have to emerge. We can stay underwater and use the periscope to see what's on the surface. Now we're going to get into a couple of obscure words maybe a little bit more than that. We have an aeroscope. Aero is from the Greek aera, air. Aeroscopio, an aeroscope. This is a device that helps us uh, examine the atmosphere. It's also used um, with drones a lot of times. Cryoscope. Well, we already know what a scope is. What is cryo? It comes from the Greek word krio, which means cold. So a cryoscope is something that helps us determine the freezing point of liquids. Krioscopio. A nephoscope. So the big question is, what is nepho? Nepho is a cloud, and we hear it in the Latin neb, neb, like nebula and nebulous. So a nephoscopio does what? Well, it's an old device that was used for helping us, uh, used to help us analyze clouds. Bioscope. Many, us, many of us probably already know that bio comes from vios, which means life. And a vioscopio, this is kind of a tricky one because this is a bioscope and this is a bioscope. Bioscopes, there have been many different types. There are cameras, there are projectors. Uh, scientists and inventors love to use Greek words and sometimes they don't realize that somebody's already used them for something else. This is one you may know, a gyroscope. Well, gyro comes from the Greek gyro, and of course many people are thinking of the sandwich, and it's related to it. Gyro means round. And that sandwich is called a gyro because the meat on the spit rotates. It goes around and around and they shave it off from that. So a gyroscope, a gyroscopio, is a something that shows us a lot of circles. You'll usually see these in toys have tops. They're also used in ships, or they used to be used in ships. Bronchoscope. Well, bronco is a breathing tube, which we probably could have guessed. We know about bronchitis and bronchial asthma. Bronchoscopio. What does it do? It's pretty easy to figure out, right? That's the beauty of this, is once you learn your Greek roots, you can easily understand what the name means. And if you know it in English, you can probably figure out how to say it in Greek. A 
stereoscope? Well, stereo, this is kind of a difficult one. This means solid. Stereoscopio. A stereoscope, here's what an old one looks like. This is a modern one. A stereoscope helps you see images in stereo. It can help you see one image with the left eye or one image with the right eye and combine them into a single solid image. An iconoscope is something you probably haven't seen before. An icon is an image. Iconoscopio is our word. And this was an old tube that was used in cameras a long time ago. What do cameras do? They capture images. An ophthalmoscope. Well, you might know what an ophthalmologist is. An ophthalmos is an eye. So, ophthalmoscopio. And again, we've seen this many times at the doctor's office. They use it to check the eyes. This one here, maybe no one will know. This is a zograscope. So, zogra means drawing. It comes from zografizo, which means I draw. Zograscopio. Now, I've never seen this word in Greek, and this device is no longer used anymore. Basically, it's just a tabletop device that allows you to examine pictures and check background details. Ooh, a dichroscope. Well, di comes from the Greek to, veal, and kro is color, like chroma, chrome, vichroscopio. Now, the good thing about this in English is every dichroscope I've seen has the English word written on there, so that's, uh, that's very helpful. And dichroscopes are used um, to help analyze gem colors. And finally, one that we all might know, a kaleidoscope. Kal means beautiful. Idos is another word for image. Kalidoscopio, something that shows us beautiful images. Something like this. Okay, I hope you found this useful and educational. And that's it for today. Delos!